Hi guys! So, this week I was playing around with new firmware for my TiVo Black Widow 3D printer and I noticed that the new firmware did not have any graphic boot screen like the TiVo Tornado has. And that gave me an idea. Why not design and flash my own graphic boot screen? This is very very easy to do and it will work with most graphic displays. These are found in the TiVo Tornado, the Tarantula with the Red Wrap display upgrade, Black Widow and others. But as long as your firmware gives you the option to load a graphic screen. In this video I will show you how I did mine so that you too can make your own. And let's start by choosing a design, which that might be the most difficult step in this entire procedure. Since I love the Black Widow heat mat graphic, I used that design to make my boot screen. A picture taken from above will do the trick. And with the picture taken, I need to rework it. For that, you need to open an image editor. One of your choice will surely work. First, let's rotate a bit so that the design is leveled. Then, I select what's important. Now, we take what we don't want out. You can delete it or paint over it. Don't worry about if it's perfect or not, just close enough. Now, we can increase the contrast so that we get the colors to pump up. This will make the next step much easier. So now we can remove the red out and replace it with white. Now that we have white and black, we can decrease the color range. And now we have true white and black. Now, our graphic display is black and white and also 128 by 64 pixels. This is very important, so we must match the image size. In my case, the letters and the spider are too far apart, so I need to bring them closer. So let's put the letters right here. Let's increase the size of them a little bit. That should do it. Now, Let's get this image with the right size. My image editor does not give me much options, so I have to keep cutting until I get the size just right, as I don't want to distort the image.
So now we have the image at the final size, 128 by 64 pixels. And we can see that we lost some detail. We need to retouch the letters and the spider again. I found out that just a single line sometimes gets deleted after converting to the final code. So I have to fill a bit more in some areas. When you are happy with the result, save the image as a bitmap or BMP. Next, download and open the LCD Assistant software. This is free to use and you don't need to install it. Check the video description for the link. Load the image, change the byte orientation to horizontal and confirm that the size is correct. And then save the code. And we are almost there. Open the file with the text editor and select all this data inside the curve brackets. With all that in memory, open the firmware using the Arduino software and look for the boot screen tab. If you don't have this tab, just use the link in the description. Download it and place it together with all the other files in the firmware folder. If you had to copy the file, you need to reload the Arduino software so that the boot screen tab gets available. In the boot screen tab, replace the old data with the new data. Now you need to go to your configuration.h tab and uncomment this line. This will tell the firmware to load and display the new graphic screen. Flash the firmware and voila, you have a new graphic boot screen. As you can see, it's very easy. I hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you guys next time.